God. Dexter. Is everything okay? Something happened to your mom. Is she okay? A man came into our house. And your mother came home and he killed her. What? She got killed? So you're kidding, right? I don't understand. Sorry for your loss. He doesn't know how to deal with it. I mean it. Leave me alone. Just listen to me. Everything's going to be okay. It won't be. She's dead. It doesn't even matter to you. How can you say that? I can tell just by looking at you. Don't even care. Oh, God. Where were you? Where were you when someone was killing her? Hmm. You should have been there to protect her. You're right. That was your job. I should have been there and I wish I could take it all back. I wish none of this had ever happened and your mom was still alive. I don't know what I wish. That it was just my mom and me and Cody and Harrison. We all would have been so much better off if she hadn't hit you. I wish you were dead. Oh. God, these two knuckleheads. That was stupid. Do you mind? <laughs> Back to be somewhere else. Oh, Deb is a mess. Every season she's with a different guy. <laughs> oh! Jesus, Quinn, can not grab a sheet or something? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I might want to put some pants on there. Talk about it, or you're just gonna act weird. Act okay. weird. I mean, you show up here, which I didn't even ask you to do, so. Yeah, to help. <laughs> Instant regret. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god. Does Quinn think really? it's him? It's not him, Quinn. Quinn, Metro Homicide. She was a friend. You know, it was upsetting. Hmm. Friend. I, uh, was told she might have been more. Hmm. All Rita and I ever did was kiss. Once. That was it. It was nothing. <laughs> Your husband was never around. Hmm. Dexter found out about the indiscretion and, uh, came over and punched me out. <coughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't be sleeping on Dexter. Where is her Cody? At a hotel with our grandparents. How'd it go talking with them? Esther's upset. You got me a hat. <laughs> She'll be okay. I don't see how her mother's dead because of me. Oh, shit. No, she's not. There's nothing you could have done differently. I could have killed Arthur Mitchell the first chance I got. Mm-hmm. You love Rita. Oh, God. How lucky she felt to have found you. Oh God, they just want to make me cry. So, what does the blood spatter analyst do anyway? <laughs> Dexter's looking at that dude. <gasps> On the first date, Dexter? Is this yours? He did that on a date? I have to go. Alright. Is everything okay? I'm sorry. Oh jeez. It was nice meeting you. Wow, that was the first date? I would have never called him again. Like your sister says, I'm toxic. Mm hmm. What are you doing over there? That's so important. Getting rid of every trace of me. <laughs> Nothing. Dexter. Nosy. Look, I know this is tough to talk about, but the funeral is tomorrow and there's still a lot of stuff you have to do. I need to grab my tools. Go over the guest list mm -hmm. one more time. Eulogy, Dexter. 
I can't do that for you. That really has to come from you. I need to top off my boat. I'm low on fuel. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about Harrison. He needs his mother. Someone decent in his life. Oh, God. Would that person be you? Love him. <laughs> and he has me in his life. Of course he does. Mm -hmm. More importantly, he has you. You're decent and good. I'm not. You are. You are. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> He's so, like, weird when it comes to emotions. Serial killer murders cop's wife. The press won't let up. They want all the gory details. That's what he told me. Same thing I told you. Mm. So what can I do for you? There's, uh, something I think you should know. Oh, boy. Having to do with Rita. What, the neighbor? Okay. And Elliot, the next-door neighbor. Cleaning up. And this Elliot and I struck up a conversation. He and Rita had like a mini fling. What's that mean, exactly? Apparently, Dexter found out about it. Why are you telling me this? What are you implying? Mm. I'm not implying anything. Yes, you are. What are you doing interviewing witnesses? I wasn't interviewing. I was there. What? Cleaning? Look, if this were anyone but Dexter, We'd at least be thinking like detectives. What do you always say? When a wife is dead, 90% of the time, the husband did it. Mm. I like that. It was not oh, Dexter, you bastard. Okay, can you repeat that? What? Yeah, I just got a call from the FBI about your brother's interview. Don't tell me what he said. Nothing. He didn't show. <gasps> so, God damn it. I knew I should have gone with him. Morgan? I so did not fucking need this. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Excuse me? Who the fuck are you? Downstairs? Uh, you're the sister, right? Yeah, I live here. Well, I'll be leaving then. He said you would know what to do. <laughs> After you talk to her like that? <laughs> You want her to stay? Who the fuck are you? Dexter Morgan. Please leave a message. Oh, Dexter's MIA. Guess who I just met? The fucking cat lady from downstairs. She was feeding ice cream to your son. But you better get back here. Because... <sighs> fuck! Dexter, where are you? Hope you don't mind I chose that dress you were wearing it when we first met. So I thought since I won't be at the funeral. Way better off without me. I think we agree about that. I'm a serial killer, that's what I am. I know I led you to believe I'm a human being, but I'm not. It's a lie. Dexter! A few things you really need once you decide to move on. What you'll require wherever you land. The tools of your trade. He's burning it. Oh God. Doesn't look good, you burning shit, Dexter. Damn it, Dexter won't do this. Is he not gonna show up to her funeral? Dexter. You can't do that, Dexter. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Better. Much better. Glad to hear that. <coughs> I mean, 